Brits here at Hungara Ring and getting underway. Obviously, we saw it was a slow one uh, for the Oregon, uh, city for the Optimum Motorsport McLaren and Christopher Haas getting off to a big jump already from the get-go. Uh, we saw there further back as well the Al Manor uh, racing by Get Speed, making its way around the outside in towards turn two, making the most, of course, of the slipper that was delivered by Charlie Fagg, taking P2 at the get-go too. It was a lot of jumbling about, finding places and positions. Christopher Haaser in the initial, taking the lead, going out 2.6 seconds clear in the initial, but it would all come undone after an issue clearly became apparent on the Audi R8, allowing that of Fabian Schiller through in the initial stint. Then, of course, it was Charlie Fagg who tried to close the gap after a, a brilliant stint in the first place, trying to stay in touch with that Almanor Racing get speed at the very front of the order. They first had to get past Christopher Haas's limping Audi R8 LMS. They certainly did just that, breaking through on the inside out of turn one and then left down through towards turn two in second place. In came, though, the Almanor Racing. Of course, the car that would go on to win race one. Looking back at this as well, the Red Zebra was certainly still trying to make some prosaic moves, getting past Agostini in that instance. And then we saw the big almighty scrap happening between the cars up at the front end. There, Marin Angeli came into contact with no less than the car that was looking to take the race win, that being Sam DeHaan and Optima Motorsport. Marin Angeli would then lead in the initial, but it all became apparent later on in the race. As the Red Zephyr be became under increasing pressure, it would allow the two Mercedes through with Motor Park taking third place. Maximilian Paul with an absolutely thrilling dynamic move, cutting back out of turn 13, left the door wide open for himself, heading through the final corner at 14, to then then tee up on almighty display, an almighty charge, heading up towards the line out of turn 14 to take the eventual victory and Oregon's first win of the season.